Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this Google logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third-party plugin, but with the help of Adobe After Effects and Adobe Photoshop. And if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff of motion graphics, then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses. Links are available in the description. And if you're new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We are going to name it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, and duration I'm going to choose let's say 15 second duration over here let's increase the duration or let's say 30 second duration i think that would be good sorry 30 second duration and background color i'm going to choose white color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection now i have this google lo google logo file over here in which each and every alphabet is on separated layers so i'll save this file and I'll simply uh, import this file in After Effects. Simply press Ctrl I and find your logo file over here. Then I'm going to double click to open this composition. I'm going to select all of this alphabet. I'll hit Ctrl C. I'll go to the main animation and I'll hit Ctrl V. Then right click new and create one null object. Select all of these layers and make it apparent with this null one. Select this null, press S and let's scale it down. Press P for position. Let's bring this over here and let's bring this over here. Like this. Okay. And let's delete this null object. Now, first of all, we will select these layers and uh, we need to animate this. So, I'm going to select this one and this one. And I'm going to change the color of this uh, one to yellow. Now press P for position, zoom in a little bit. Let's go to around one second, create one keyframe at the start, then go to around uh, 2.10 frames, create another keyframe, go to the start over here, select this, let's bring this over here, select this E and let's bring this over here, like this. Okay, let's enable this icon so we can see only this ones let's try to adjust it properly okay now select those keyframes and hit f9 so we will get this kind of animation like this now let's minim uh, hide this now select all the middle layers and press ctrl shift c and i'm going to call it as middle and simply hit ok and let's hide this for now now go over here and let's unhide with this now uh, i'm going to select my rectangle um, I'm going to create this kind of rectangular stuff and select this like this and press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center first press s create one keyframe and unlink this also press p for position create another keyframe and hit u and go to the start let's make the initial scale 0 over here let's hide this middle one and now change the position in between this letters like this okay and select all of these keyframes and hit f9 so we will get something like this and at this point select this let's move this a little bit over here now select those keyframes go to the graph editor select this by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here like this and select this middle bring this at the top and press f4 and choose alpha mask and enable this layer so we will get something like this okay so if you see this now we will get this animation now right click new and create one null object select all of these layers and make it apparent with this null select this null press s uh, create one keyframe go to around somewhere over here create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this 150 select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here 
like this so we will get this animation over here like this then again right click new and create one null object select this null object make it apparent with this third one select this press s create one keyframe go few frame forward somewhere around four second and let's make this 80 so what will happen along with this animation we will get this scaling animation as well okay like this now press ctrl y to create one solid background and let's bring this downwards like this now select all of these layers and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as google hit ok like this then create press p for position create one keyframe go to around 4.20 frames and we will bring this out of this composition like this select those keyframes and hit f9 then go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here like this now press ctrl n and let's call it as c01 and hit ok now i'm going to bring my google logo file over here and let's bring this over here press s for scaling option and let's bring this somewhere around like this okay now select this google logo file hit ctrl d press s and decrease the scale somewhere around like the here and i'm going to use this layer only for reference then press ctrl y to create one solid background and bring this downwards uh, select this google layer over here go to the effect and presets panel and apply tint effect on it or uh, let's apply fill effect and double click to apply that fill effect and we will choose black color like this then right click new and create one adjustment layer and apply tint effect on it like this and we will enable this to google layer and bring this at the top select this adjustment layer instead of black color i'm going to choose this blue color over here like this now select this adjustment layer and hit ctrl d and let's swap this color and press w to rotate it so we will get this kind of rotation and we will bring this over here like this okay and if you want then you can choose different color over here also and you can swap this so you have to play along with this now i'm going to choose the same version of this colors only like this now select this google logo press p for position create one keyframe go to around four seconds let's move this from here to here like this then select this adjustment layer and let's increase the size of this over here uh, press p for position create one keyframe press r for rotation create another keyframe hit u go over here let's bring this from here to here and then rotate it like this okay hit ctrl 0 select this scene 1 and hit ctrl d to duplicate it double click to open this like this select those uh, keyframe right click keyframe assistance time reverse keyframe like this and select those position keyframes and we will move this over here so it's gonna be go over here now select those position keyframes and we will bring shift it towards this like this and now we will enable this layer and we will go to the adjustment layer and instead of this blue i'm going to pick up this red color similarly over here i'm going to pick up this red color let's hide this hit ctrl 0 again and we can use this scene 1 again and hit ctrl d to create different hit double click to open this now select this google uh, logo select those position keyframes and we will bring them totally up to here like this okay and enable this layer now select this adjustment layer with instead of blue i'm going to pick up this green color or, and over here instead of this i'm going to pick up this uh, yellow color and we will hide this layer so we'll get this kind of animation now go to the main animation over here 
hit control 0 we will bring our scene 1 and let's bring this over here so we will get this animation then we will bring our scene 2 like this and over here we are going to apply linear wipe effect so double click to apply this linear wipe effect hit TO so we can see and select those keyframes hit F9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here like this so first we will get this then let's move this over here then hit control 0 and apply this scene 3 layer over here and move this over here select this and copy this linear wipe effect hit ctrl v hit u and let's make this 90 like this then after that uh, we will select this google logo layer over here hit ctrl d and let's move this over here now select this linear wipe effect again hit ctrl c select this and hit ctrl v so we will get this animation now hit u and uh, we are going to copy this linear wipe effect hit ctrl c go over here select this initial layer hit ctrl v also and hit u like this okay now what we are going to do i am going to hit d over here so my animation will start from here then we will get this animation then this then this and then this now over here uh, we need this animation a little bit faster so i'm going to do it a little bit time adjustment like this and select this and move this over here and at this point i'm going to hit n so what will happen i'm going to get this animation in continuous looping format like this okay then you can go inside this you can select uh, all of these layers press ctrl shift c and call it as animation and hit ok select this animation layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect and double click to apply uh, increase the distance to 20 increase the softness to 100 decrease the opacity to 20 and change the color of, instead of black i'm going to pick up this blue color okay let's make this like this so we will get this kind of stuff and if you want you can go inside this you can select this google layer you can apply drop shadow effect over here also let's change the 30 softness 100 opacity 20 copy this drop shadow effect and uh, apply uh, to this layers as well okay so we will get something like this and we are going to get this animation in continuous looping format and you can go inside this instead of this complete y you can press ctrl shift y to open the settings and we will choose a little bit of grayish version not completely dark but a little bit like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of logo animation inside of After Effects.